Hi guys. So um, remember I went to the expo and I showed you that Cosmic Shimmer, the opal polish where it's two different colors. So we're going to do a little demo tutorial right here. Um, I want to use it, but I wanted to show you all that. I'm so impressed with it that I want to show you. So see, see, it's me. <laughs> okay, guys. So um, it's Cosmic Shimmer is the company name. It's tiny, tiny little name right there. Only the opal colors do the two different uh, colors on paper. One white, one black turns out color two different colors and I love let me just calm down because I'm talking so fast on top of myself um, I love that it has this that stays in place so let's get started I practiced a little bit look the two different colors this color that we're starting with today is called golden flamingo and that's what it looks like. It's a little bit pinkish on here, but then gold on there. Look at the two different colors. So what I'm using as the embossing is a 3D embossing folder from Crafter's Companion. It came in my box number nine. Um, so let's do this. Let's open it up. It has a, a little bit of a smell. Let's load up our... Uh, sponge let's take it off the edge let's move that one and let's work on the white and just look at that isn't that gorgeous look how it brings out the 3d embossing um, can you imagine using this for mixed media or stencils uh, and it looks like it's going to go a long way so let's finish this card up Isn't that gorgeous? I'm going to use these cards, I think. Or, well, I need to to show that this is the color. So I'm going to stamp it right there. And I'm actually going to make a... Um, I'm going to actually put these colors together and save them so that I know what color makes what. So... That I have a sample template okay so let's do the gold it looks gold and it's remember it's called golden flamingo so the flamingos here and the gold is here so look at this oh my lord I am in love with this I bought it at the expo um, on Friday and I'm using it now. So is this not just gorgeous? Look how it has changed that embossing folder. You know, and you can rub harder to get more in the creases or rub lighter to be over it. Okay, guys, so let's put that right there. And it's pretty tight. Um, let's see, it goes in certain way I think yep it's pretty tight it stays in there so there's that color there's six colors so let's go to the next color and see what we get okay I want to show you that embossing 3d what 3d looks like now so here's the white and here's the black and now let's try the color. Now remember, it's only the opal polish from uh, Cosmic Shimmer that does this. And this color is pink thistle. Pink thistle. It looks purple, doesn't it? See the difference? It looks purple. But it's called pink thistle. So let's get this out of the cap first. Okay. And then I'm going to take it off. Now, let's see what it does on black. Ooh, it's a, it is a pink color. 
it's a it's like a rose gold. Isn't that beautiful? Load it up. Let's load up that sponge. I'm using a paper underneath it because I just don't want to get my whole desk messy for this. And it dries. It dries so fast. Oh my gosh, it dries so fast. So there's that color. Well, I'm going to have to make samples on a black and a white card to tell you the truth because it's going to be different. What color is it going to be? I don't know. I don't know. The guy, when I bought it, was sampling it. There's so many different colors. Well, let me show you real quick who I bought it from at the expo, if you didn't see that expo haul. Stamp-licious. Stamp-licious. stamp stamp Listic, listic. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. S T A M P L I S T I C dot com. So that's where you're going to find them. And they have a lot. It's a whole scrapbooky type store. They have a lot. Um, but I only bought the opal colors. Okay. Are we ready to see? Did I load that? Are we ready to see what the blue, uh, what the, what is this color? Pink thistle does on the white. Oh, it's purple. It's so pretty. Oh, see how that looks pink, rose gold. And this is so purpley. And oh, see how you could go really deep or you could go light and see how the different colors look. You can make it ombre if you want and just wipe over the edges or make it uh, deep and rub in deeper. Oh, I'm going to reuse these cards and it dries. Look, it's not on my finger. It dries so fast. So, oops, let's screw that one back in and put that one there. So let me show you these two colors. Look at the difference in the colors. Okay. Did I do that with this? Look at the difference. The deep gold, the lighter gold, and then the pink. Wow. Okay. Now let's put this one off to the side. And bring in our next color. There's only six colors. So hang in there with me. Um, you may be able to find it at your own supply house around your town. Okay, so the next color is, take the sponge off, and the color is Blushing Peach. There's a lot in here. This is going to last a long time. It feels almost like a paste, like a lipsticky makeup. All right, let's do black first. And let's just do lightly on here. Oh, it's a peachy, it's a peachy pink color. And then if we rub heavy, I love it. See the difference? Really just changes it. This is so nice. I, you know, this is just wanting me to do so much mixed media and so much um, embossing. You know, you could take a Q-tip and just do just the roses in one color and take a Q-tip and do the greenery in another Um Wow, that's so nice. So let's put that off to the side. Let's load up our sponge and see what the white's going to show us. I am, um, I'm taking, I don't want it to be like that. 
because I don't want to waste and I don't want that glob to be on my card so I'm just that's why I'm wiping the edges so let's do a lighter Ooh, let's look at that let's just barely wipe on it look at that Wow and then let's load up just a little bit more and then take it back off and then really rub on this part and see what we get Wow Wow and it's not so heavy that it warps your paper and you know it changes Wow is that not gorgeous so let's put this back and let's put this here and remember that it was blush blushed peach and let's show you the two different colors they're really way two different colors this is a pink this is a peach that's gorgeous okay so let's set that off to the side another sheet of paper go to our fourth color and it is remember only the opal does the two tones because they have metallics and they have glitters and I'll try that the next time they only have six colors in this opal and they had like 10 or 12 colors in glitter and metallics um, this company um, at the show bought if you bought 10 to 12 you get one free but I only wanted to get the six so this color is golden glow oh it's very gold inside so let's load up it's very very creamy let's take it off let's moisten that sponge okay we're gonna do the white first it should be gold and let's just do light and then you can see just hitting the tops what would it look like then we're going to turn it around and we're going to load up some more and then we're really going to rub harder I love this sponge that comes with it it makes the difference you don't have to go and figure out where and what colors what to match up like in my inks you know I had to write like in my inks I had to write on the side here what color matches what this just works perfectly so yeah let's so there's the gold wow and I love that it dries so fast let's just use what's in the lid and let's not overload let's start just Oh, look at that gold. Deeper, deeper gold. Wow. It's a it's a different gold. Um This is almost a beigey color now that I put the this on. So I'm just barely wiping. So let's load up for the second half and um really put it in there. Mm -hmm. get all in all the crevices just not on the top and show as much black oh yes really pretty I am so happy because um, I've been wanting to do my embossing and using that up so now I have a reason and more to play so let's put this back in here oh there you go if you push it harder it's locked in it is really locked in well let's close this lid so I'm gonna have to go back and close all those so this is golden glow and it's really locked in you have to really pull on it so you push it hard in oh that's got a nice seal and it'll keep it moist and everything 
So let's look. You see where I put just on the top where I was kind of heavy handed, but you can still see the black and the gold. That really is gold. But I thought this was gold until <laughs> that was made. And it's like a lighty, light, light, beigey pink, pinkish peach, peachy, peachy beige, more or less. Wow. Okay, let's set that off to the side. Let's get my next paper. I just like keeping this whole area clean while I do videos. Now, if I wanted to do a video, this would be moved and I would use my mat. Okay. Next to last color is what the sponge I had already moved. Lavender blue. Wow. I can see purples in there. I can see blue. I can see shimmery colors. Mermaid. Reminds me of mermaid. <laughs> okay. So you want to go ahead and moisten that whole sponge and take off the excess. We're going to start with just a light. Oh, under the sea. <laughs> just a light color of really light on my hand uh, and I'm not pushing as heavy. Let's reload. Take off the excess. I don't want. Okay. And now let's just do heavy pushing. Wow. That is gorgeous. Oh my Lord. I'm going to be able to reuse these cards. Wow, that is gorgeous. So, it's almost like a teal blue. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, let's see. What will the black card bring us? Because I don't know. Ugh, got too much. Need to take the excess off on the opposite side of where it's at. Okay. Let's just do a light rubbing. Oh, it's purple. It's a very, very purple. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow. Look at that. And now let's load it up heavier and really rub in the other part and get all the colors. Oh my gosh, this is just heaven. <laughs> I am loving this. Oh. Okay, so let's push that hard in and it will stay. Let's close this up. Well, I didn't push that in all the way. There we go. Okay, so this is lavender blue. And look at it. It's very mermaidy colors. Look at the difference. Can you see where I did it light handedly and you can still see three dimensional and then I did it heavy and then here the same way it was light handed and then heavy. But look at the two different colors. This purple, um, um, you're not seeing this purple. I, I don't know if maybe it's this. Uh, you're just not seeing the camera's not showing the purple that it is. Um, wow, it's amazing. I'm amazed. I wish you know what color purple it is. Is this right here? Well, that's not even showing up purple that much, but it's all it's almost it's the same color as the crafters. No, this is We Are Memory Keepers, but it's the same color as Crafters Companion Purple. But remember, uh, We Are Memories Keeper used to use purple. That's what that is. Okay, so let's put this off, and we have our last color and I don't remember what the color is I just said that I wanted um, all six so I pre-cut my last two cards and it is blue parakeet and it's already off and 
fast forward or put me on two speed if I'm taking too long. Let's use up what's here first. This looks like a green color, doesn't it? Let's load up. This definitely looks green, shimmery opal. Okay. See, I see waste on the side here because I have it on the side. <laughs> I'm thinking it's going to last forever, but we just buy more. If I use it, if I use it, that means I love it and we'll buy more. So, okay, let's do a light green. Oh, that's really pretty for um, leaves and stuff. That would be really pretty. Use a little Q-tip or a makeup sponge, something small to do leaves. Okay. Let's load up some more, take it off, and go heavy. I'm definitely going to have to make um, a template for each color so that I know. Do you see the green to, to y'all? It's a greenish yellow. I don't know if you see it. I hope the color comes out in the videos. Um, I'll take pictures of this and put in Glue Gun Chronicles my group um, to show you the colors. And if you're not in my group, you're missing out. We have lovely people in there sharing. Okay, so let's do light. Oh, it's a blue. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's, a, it's like a neon blue. Wow. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Wow. I'll take pictures of these and put them in my group. And then you'll um, see the difference in the color. Because I don't think the video is showing some of the beautiful colors that it truly is. Now let's go heavy. When I go heavy on the black, I can see some of the green in the blue in the creases of of this so let's put this in here okay it's stuck in really well and remember this was the blue parakeet and let's look at the colors that's almost a real color a, a true color but when I went heavy in the blue, I can see the green in this black card. So, wow. Was that not neat? Was that not a neat, neat project share? I'm really happy that I was able to show you all these wonderful colors. I think I'm going to keep them on the bases so that um, the colors show up. So, guys, look at this, look at this, look at this. I mean, I am so pleased that I got these. Wow, this was fun. How can I show all this off? That was fun. That was a fun, quick little tutorial sh to show you um, the projects. I really like it. I have two more colors. I don't know if I can fit them in to show or not. I have two more. Did, are all the colors going to be able to fit in? Oh, this pink. This pink. So look at there, guys. Look at all the colors. Is this not just fun? I mean, look. See how this is peach and this is pink? See the difference? Wow. And look at this purple from this purple. They look like they would go together. But no. These go together. This is just amazing. So I'm going to take pictures. Well, actually, I think the colors are pretty much showing up. But I'm going to take pictures and put them in Glue Gun Chronicles. My links are down below if you want to join that group. 
um, uh, and it, it's not my group. I say it's our group. And I would hit that bell because you never know when I'm going to make a video. And because here I am making a video and I didn't know it. It's uh, 556 a.m. and I'm making a video before the day gets started. So have a blessed day.